Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this 3D hologram effect using your phone and camera. So let's get started. So that's the clean plate or a background video of me holding the phone. And second video is a rotating camera that I shot previously for the floating object effect. You can check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I already applied magic mask to it and exported it as a video, so it's not getting too hard on my system while I record this tutorial. So select both clips and create a new fusion clip. Go to fusion tab. Let's rename our nodes. That's the camera. And that's the clean plate with the phone. Now select camera node and apply transform effect, so we can animate camera's appearance. Go to inspector window and adjust size and position. Now let's create keyframes. Step on the frame where animation will end and create keyframes on size, position and aspect. Move playhead several frames back and change size to 0. Position it to the top screen so it looks like it's flying out from the phone. And increase aspect a little so it squeezes the hologram animation. Ok, now go to spline editor to use our keyframes. Ok, we already made fly in animation, let's add fly out animation. Cool, now select transform node and apply color corrector node. Increase saturation to 1.5 and gain to 2.5 and set color to cyan or blue. Now let's add some grain to it. Select color corrector node and look up for grain. Set power to around 10. Now let's add a TV effect. Shift spacebar and type TV. Set scan line to 0 or whatever you like, set noise also to 0, go to roll bar and set bar strength to 0.1 and bar size to 0.4. Let's animate this bar. Go to the beginning of our animation and set keyframe on offset. Go to the end of animation and set it to 5. Or minus 5 if you want it to slide down. Cool, now select TV node and apply soft glow. Change threshold to 0.3 and glow size to 55. Ok, now we need to add this hologram light that's coming from the phone. And for that we are gonna need a directional blur. Shift space bar and apply directional blur. Set type to radial and decrease length to minus 0.075. And move the position to the top phone screen. Cool, and here is the trick to achieve the result we need. Drag the white square of previous node to the white box of directional blur. So it creates additional merge node and gives us a look we want. Now we need to create a flickering effect to our hologram. Select this new merge node, right click on blend, modify width and choose shake. Go to modifiers window, hit reset, change smoothness to 0.74, minimum value to 0.3 and maximum to 0.9. Now we have this nice flickering effect. Cool, now select merge to node and change apply mode to lighten. So now it looks even better. Let's animate the hologram opacity, go to the end of fly in animation and set keyframe on blend. Go to the beginning and set to zero. And make the same with fly out animation. Ease blend keyframes. Ok, now we need to track our hologram to the phone. Select phone node and apply planner tracker. Go to inspector and change tracker to hybrid and click on set. Create a mask around our top phone screen and hit track. Now click on create planner transform so it creates a planner transform node. Now we can place it wherever we want depending on what we want to track. And I'm gonna place it in between merge 3 and merge 2 nodes so it will track our hologram with all the effects. Hold shift and drag it to this line. Now it's tracked to the phone. Let me make some adjustments to directional blur. Let's see what we got here. 
One more thing left is to make this shaky camera effect. Select transform to a node, right click on center, modify with shake. Open modifiers window, set smoothness to 12, minimum value to 0.52 and maximum to 0.49. Increase size so we have a fully visible image. And that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit my store for some cool effects, titles and transitions for DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.